Artillery games are early two- or three-player video games involving tanks fighting each other in combat or similar. Artillery games are among the earliest computer games developed, the theme of such games is an extension of the original uses of computer themselves, which were once used to calculate the trajectories of rockets and other related military-based calculations. Artillery games have been described as a type of shooting game, though they are more often classified as a type of strategy video game. Early precursors to the modern artillery type games were text only games that simulated artillery entirely with input data values. A basic game known simply as Artillery was written by Mike Foreman and was published in Creative Computing Magazine in 1976. This seminal home computer version of the game was revised in 1977 by M. E. Leone and Brian West and was known as War 3. War 3 was revised further in 1979 and published as Artillery 3. These early versions of turn-based tank combat games interpreted human-entered data such as the distance between the tanks, the velocity or power of the shot fired and the angle of the tank's turrets. Topic: <laughs> Emergence of graphical artillery. The Tektronix 4051 basic language desktop computer of the mid-1970s had a demo program called Artillery which used a storage CRT for graphics. A similar program appeared on the HP 2647 graphics terminal demo tape in the late 1970s. An early graphical version of the Artillery game for personal computers emerged on the Apple II computer platform in 1980. Written in AppleSoft Basic, this variant, also called Artillery, built upon the earlier concepts of the artillery games published in Creative Computing but allowed the players to actually see a simple graphical representation of the tanks, battlefield, and terrain. The Apple II variant also took wind speed into account when calculating the eventual result of the fired shot. Lines on the screen showed the players the paths that previous shots had taken toward their target, allowing players to use visual data when considering future strategy. Similar games were made for home computers such as the Commodore PET by 1981. In 1983, Amoeba Software published a game called Tank Tracks, which was very soon picked up and re-released by the early Mastertronic Games Company. This was again the classic version of the artillery game, however you could change the height of the hill in between the players to either a mountain or a foothill, however this sometimes made no difference in the actual gameplay as some foothills were as high as mountains and some mountains were low enough to be considered foothills. The players also had the default names of General Patton and Monty. Video game console variants of the artillery game soon emerged after the first graphical home computer versions. A two-player game called Smithereens, was released in 1982 for the Magnavox Odyssey Squared console in which two catapults, each behind a castle fortress wall, launched rocks at each other. Although not turn-based, the game made use of the console's speech synthesis to emit sarcastic insults when one player fired at the other. The first widespread artillery-based video game was Artillery Duel. Artillery Duel was released in 1983 for the Atari 2600 and ColecoVision video game consoles as well as the Commodore 64 and VIC-20 home computer platforms. The game featured more elaborate background and terrain graphics as well as a simple graphical readout of wind speed and amount of munitions. Around 1984, a game called Siege also appeared by publisher Melbourne House. This was released on many old computer systems such as the Commodore 16. The game was bundled with C16s on a compilation tape along with Zap, Hangman, and many other games, VIC 20, and several other comparable machines of that era. Some variants for some reason were misspelled as Siege instead of Siege. Topic. Artillery games on the PC With the increased presence of IBM-compatible PCs came the arrival of artillery games to the platform. In 1988, Artillery Combat, or Egabomb, was released by Rad Delarotary, written in Turbo Basic, and was later distributed by Rad Software. Following in 1990, Tank Wars was released by Kenny Morse and published by Microforum for MS-DOS-based PCs. Tank Wars introduced the concept of buying weapons and multiple AI computer player tanks to the artillery game. 
Gravity Wars was a conversion of the Amiga game of the same name that took the artillery game into space, introducing a 2D gravity field around planets, a format that has also inspired multiple remakes. In 1991, one artillery-style game in particular got widespread attention when Gorillaz was distributed as part of QBasic with MS-DOS 5.0. The Amiga also had a release at this time called Amiga Tanks distributed via Amiga Format magazine in the UK which included some digitised voices of the tank commanders, some quite amusing when shots got too close for comfort. That year also saw the release of the first version of Scorched Earth by Wendell Hicken. Scorched Earth was a popular shareware game for MS-DOS in which tanks do turn-based battle in two-dimensional terrain, with each player adjusting the angle and power of his or her tank turret before each shot. Scorched Earth, with numerous weapon types and power-ups, is considered the modern archetype of its format, on which the popular games Worms, Atomic Cannon, Hogs of War, Space Tanks, Gunbound and Pocket Tanks are based. Scorched Earth incorporates many of the features of previous graphical artillery games including sarcastic comments by each player's tank before firing while expanding the options available to each player in regard to the choice of weapons available, the ability to use shields, parachutes, and ability to move the player's tank with the purchase of fuel tanks. The game is highly configurable and utilizes a simple mouse-driven graphical user interface. Topic. Modern derivatives of the artillery game In 1994, Team 17 released the first version of its successful Worms series of turn-based games on the Amiga computer platform. In Worms, players control a small platoon of worms rather than tanks across a deformable landscape, battling other computer or player-controlled teams. The games feature bright and humorous cartoon-style animation and a varied arsenal of bizarre weapons. Subsequent games in the series have been released since 1995, including a 3D variant Worms 3D in 2003. This was later followed by Worms Forts and Worms 4. The game then went back to its 2D-style gameplay in Worms Open Warfare 2006 and Worms, Reloaded 2010. In 2001, Gavin Camp released a 3D artillery game called Scorched 3D that is loosely based on the earlier game Scorched Earth. Scorched 3D offers options such as multiplayer LAN and internet play, player avatars, and flexible camera views. In 2003, Isotope 244 released Atomic Cannon for Windows, Mac OS X, and Windows Mobile. Other active projects include Warmix or Hedge Wars, fully playable on many systems, including Windows, Linux or Mac OS X. DD Tank is a popular browser-based free-to-play MMORPG artillery game. In December 2009, Finland-based Rovio Mobile released Angry Birds, a popular video game in which the player aims to find the most efficient way to destroy various structures by anticipating the trajectory and destructive effects of a bird fired from slingshot, which could be considered a version of an artillery game as it features a 2D limited world, angle, power input, passive missiles which follow gravity-driven trajectories, and the use of missile and or landscape destruction to kill several non-vocal pigs in each level. It does, however, lack counterfire from the player's targets, as well as infinite ammo of at least one variety of projectile. The March 2012 release of Total War, Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai saw the inclusion of an in-game variant of the artillery game. Players may manually control artillery pieces, firing, and subsequently adjusting, for each round. On March 11, 2015, Crazy Games released Shellshock Live on Steam, which is currently the most popular artillery game on PC.